The Kenyan government's Vision 2030 seeks to give access of electricity to all Kenyans by the year 2020. In rural areas without connection to the national power grid, renewable energy sources can be used to supply electricity. A promising way to tackle this challenge is through solar hybrid mini-grids, which have the potential to provide clean, quality and affordable electricity. Talek Town is located in Narok County, between the Maasai Mara National Conservancy and the Naboisho Conservancy. This is one of the places in Kenya where solar hybrid mini-grids are being implemented. A solar hybrid mini-grid is an integrated power supply which uh, combines small-scale power generation and power distribution assets. Uh, it's called solar hybrid because uh, the generation technology is uh, solar. Uh, usually it's mixed with another components like wind, biogas or diesel. And it's called mini-grid because of the power distribution component. Solar electricity is created when sunlight hits the solar panels, which converts the energy into electricity. The direct current, or DC power, that the solar panel produces is wired into two inverters. One inverter converts the DC power into an alternating current, AC power. The AC power is distributed to all installations according to their needs. The second inverter wires the DC power into a battery bank for storage. The stored power can be used at night or when the solar power is low. In Kenya, supplying electricity is a regulated business. To run a mini-grid, the operator needs to be licensed. The Energy Regulatory Commission is the body responsible for delivering power generation and distribution of licenses. Talek Power applied for a license to generate and they also to distribute power in Talek Town, in Narrow County. And uh, when they applied, we took them through the same process of the regulation and they met all the requirements to be licensed as per the regulations. Operating a mini-grid is like operating an integrated utility, just at a smaller scale. All operational, commercial and customer care challenges have to be promptly addressed. The provision of electricity is done on a commercial basis. My name is Naomi Mutua, a business lady here in Talek. I have really benefited because I can now blend fruits for my baby, iron my husband's clothes and even wash my favorite soap operas. And at the end of the day, I am satisfied. At the end of the day, Nico satisfied. Many grids are changing in many ways the face of rural Kenya. It's not only households who can benefit from electricity. In fact, the effects are quite well noticeable on various economic activities. Since the installation of the solar electricity, business has grown. People can now charge their phones using electricity. The solar mini-grid uses clean energy from the sun. This has had a major positive environmental impact in the town of Talek because consumers have ceased the use of air-polluting energy sources. The solar power project has been of benefit to us here in Talek. We can now charge our phones and even send emails. The implementation of the solar hybrid mini-grid has improved the social, economic and environmental value in Talek. However, Sekinani, a town located 40 kilometers from Talek, is amongst the rural areas in Kenya that are yet to be electrified. Business is not good right now because we have no electricity. If we had electricity, our businesses would grow. If we get electricity, education will be boosted, students will be able to learn efficiently even at night. High school, One key success factor for operating mini grids is human capacity development. Technical skills are essential to address the operational challenges that such systems require. GIZ is building the technical capacities within the counties in Kenya to develop on the ground people's ability to install solar systems. 
I came for the training so that I can be enlightened about the solar power, get a job and make my life better. The procedure was pretty much the same as a utility main project. Uh, it started with engineering the whole scheme and designing it and then we had to do some core procurement and after the procurement it was the construction and installation and then we commissioned the project. What is in the next five years, Talek Town is going to be as highly developed as Nairobi. Talek Power, I think, to me, is a very good project because the government has a target of connecting over 70% of the Kenyan population to electricity. The investment potential uh, on the renewable energy in Kenya is fantastically good uh, in our technologies, solar, wind, uh, small hydros, even biomass. Uh, as the ministry, uh, we are encouraging investors to come in Kenya and invest in this. The GIZ and the German Agro Action Implemented Project in Talek has been done in collaboration with the Narok County Government. The Talek Power Project has paved the way in the enhancement of rural electrification projects with clean, sustainable and renewable energy sources, which has improved the people's livelihood. The project has demonstrated that solar hybrid mini-grids, when properly designed, are commercially viable. While billions of people across the planet still don't have access to electricity, mini-grids are an important part of the global electrification equation.